Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all well. So I decided it's about time I came on and did another scrap busting video. I haven't done one for ages. I'm so sorry about that. But um, I do have to prioritize my more important projects, um, you know, and the deadlines and that. And sometimes in, during certain months, I'm very busy. Um, but it's really lovely to sit down between big projects and do a scrap buster, something just different and quick and easy. So tonight I want to do what I've seen heaps of people do and I've been waiting to do forever. And that is stamping on the backings of my napkins. Now I have bags of these around the place, the packings of all my napkins. Sometimes I use them like tissues to clean up, but most of the time I just put them in a pile and I keep them in bags for one day to sit down and do some mass stamping. Or whatever other things I can find to do with them. <laughs> so I thought I'd start with some stamping today because I haven't done it before. So I've grabbed my archival inks. I've only got uh, the brown, this is coffee and jet black. And then I've grabbed some stays on. I've got gothic purple, claret and cloudy sky. I'm not sure if I'll use them or not. I might just stick to the black and browns, we'll see. I'm going to have to invest in some different colors of these. I want to use a permanent ink because when I uh, glue stick or PVA the napkins down, if I want to seal them and that, I don't want the inks to run. So I'll just grab, a, grab this one to start with. Now there might be a couple of layers here. Debating whether I want to cut them down, I could probably cut some of them down and just um, use the little squares. That'd be easier to manage, I think. And in the future, I might do some bigger ones if I want to do some borders and that. That's what I was thinking of doing, maybe stamping some down lengthways um, to make some borders for pages. I can always cut them shorter if I want them for tags and that too. So what I might do is just cut one of these in half and we'll do some borders. So I hope you're all well. Hope wherever you are, if you're in lockdown, that it ends soon and you can get yourselves off to the shops and that to have some fun and retail therapy. I had some a bit earlier on and geez, it felt good. All right, now. I've got some autumn leaves here, so I might start by doing some of those and I might do some, just thinking, do I want all brown? I'm thinking of black and brown for these. Good to experiment a bit and try some different things. Now, especially because it's just stuff that you'd usually chuck out anyway, so. If you don't like what you've done, it doesn't really matter. Even then, even if you stuff up and don't like it, it'd still make a good background for an ATC or a journaling card, no doubt. So I might just start doing one by one. I'll do some black leaves first. See how it comes up. Beautiful. Oh, that's nice too. It's almost better, um, the secondary stamp there. So what I might do is do dark on this side and do light on that side. There's little borders. They'll be nice bottom of the page or top of the page borders, I reckon. So I'm going to put another one here and another one here. And I do have my baby wipes. But before I wipe it down, I might make the most of it and turn this around and do the same on this side. 
have enough napkins, that's for sure. Design a system when I'm using my stamps. <laughs> so I don't end up with losing all the acetate and stamps everywhere. Now, which one will we do in brown in between these? overlap a bit. Hardly shows up there. That's alright. Don't know if I want another one of those. So I'll turn it around and do this one over here. It does hardly show up there but that's that will be alright. Um Well, keep using this to do another line. I might do a line in the middle. They come up so nice and crisp and clear with the archival inks on here. See, so with these, you could cut the little bit out individually and put it down somewhere or as a border you know, or a cluster of them, which is really cool. All right, next I will do, I might do a black one in the middle. Just trying to figure out which one I want. I might give this a go. Stamp that off onto my scrap paper to get the black off. Get some brown on there. Turn it around here. Clean that one off. Now pick another one that we want to do in brown. So much lighter than the black, isn't it? But that's all right, that can be a background for something, that one. I'm not the world's most experienced stamper, so this is all good learning for me. think that will do. I was going to do the whole lot, but as I said, I'm thinking of leaving these in case I want to use them as borders. 
I'm going to do others where I fill in the whole lot, which will look really cool as well. So maybe we'll do that next, but we've got the leaf stamps out. We'll do some backgrounds um, where we fill the whole bit in. So that'll be the first one. I really like the browns. Not too keen on the blacks, but they'll still work all right. These, these ones look, I actually don't mind them, the blacks that aren't so bold. So, so I'll put that to the side. And grab our next bit. Maybe we'll just go for it and do a brown square now. So, just thinking I might cut this into little squares. good one for a background for an autumn journal page or tags or whatever I had a busy day today. I took my mum shopping, did our food shopping for the week. And then I went and got petrol. Had to go to Spotlight to look for my glue. They didn't have the glue I usually use. So I'm gonna try some other glue. You know what it's like when you change glues. No fun. Um, and then, yeah, hit, I think, four op shops I went to. So that was a bit of fun. And got back, did a couple of videos. So I thought I'd get this, this one done and then I've got to start setting up. I've just finished a big project that you shall see. Um, in a few days or a week and got to start the next one after so I want to start setting all my papers and everything up for that and I have to get on with my pianola roll birdie journal too so very busy but it's fun really loving this one in this design but I'll do one more just to balance it out a bit I suppose uh, needs to go in the other direction okay. I'm loving the browns though but I think yeah, if I do another one like this I'll keep that one off of it um, put him in the big middle bit like that. Might have to do another one like that. <laughs> so how cool is that? So I could just cut it down and put it over a page. Very nice. So 
So let's do another one. So the idea is just do a whole heap. You now you want to get bored, just sit here and stamp away doing heaps of these. And then they're all ready to go when I'm doing a project. So we'll do one more like that and then we will get on with some other stamps, I reckon. I don't want to bore you to death using the sta same stamps. And also, I haven't used a lot of my stamps, so it'd be good to try some different ones out. So I've just got um, packaging paper that I get in my boxes for Auntie Vera underneath. You can see all my um, spray oxides on there that I've been using for my projects this month. It's handy stuff. Dry. Oh, I'm loving just these two together for this. I could just sit here and just do leaves the whole time. I'm loving them. now. Maybe these ones. So what I should be doing is getting the excess off onto this before I wipe it down. on for a bit. Alright, so that's that one. Lovely. So let's see what other stamps I've grabbed out. Let them all dry before I put them away. My process didn't go so well. I was meant to stick them all onto the other piece of acetate to dry. And then I can put them all away after. I have these trees which I haven't used yet. I think I got them yet AliExpress. So I reckon that'd make cool borders on the bottom pages and tags and that as well. So let's cut one of these in half again. stamps let's see if we can get them off of the acetate now how big is this because I've only got a little what's this one joined together there yeah, it is these ones aren't I'll use these little ones for now I'll have to use my stamping platform for the bigger ones I might do that another time and just use these littler ones for now Good silhouette ones. Hmm. Oh, not loving them. Let's 
Didn't act that up too well though. I'll still use them. They'll be good in some mixed media or something. The trees there that aren't getting inked up too well. Try these ones. Definitely should be using these on the platform sometime, and then I can re ink and re stamp the bits that miss the ink. away. I'm not a fan of using them for this. Got some more trays. I think I'll give them a miss for now. Oh, now I've got this one that's got keys, mushrooms, but I was quite interested in doing maybe a background sheet or two with the keys on. So again, I'll put that to the side this and I might chop this into little squares. I might do black keys and brown keys. So I should get into Netflix. I've been, I finished Hannibal and then I started watching, oh now what's it called? It's a werewolf one. The Oh, now I can't think of it. I'll probably think of it when I switch the video off. Anyway, it's pretty full on. <laughs> I was a bit surprised. <laughs> but it's got me intrigued, so now I've got to watch it all. So I should watch a bit of that tonight to relax before I go to bed. Because I'm up early again tomorrow to go to the gym and then the bookstore and then book haul video if I get any books. So it's a busy day in the end. This videoing is quite time consuming, especially if you have to edit it all, which I don't have to, but you don't want to watch me sitting there for three hours making decisions and stuff, so I do edit a bit. Not for these little ones though, not too much. Unless I'm shifting positions, like going to the sewing machine or something, then I might edit. I don't know how well this is inking, it's hard to tell where the ink's meant to be going, but we'll give it a go. So these are, yeah, Kaiser Craft Enchanted stamps. Is it meant to have the lines in the background? Yes, by the looks. That's all right, actually. Looks a little distressed, like me. <laughs> Sorry, just had to add that. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> well, life's too short to take things too seriously. It's taken me all this time to learn that. Just want to have a bit of fun while I'm still alive. <clears throat> Do we want them always gone? Oh, I don't know. Let's just try stuff. Then we can do that. Could always like add some, which I might try afterwards, like text in the background. 
the seas are gonna be. What if we do some upside down there? Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Add some text in the background in black or something and then do some of this over the top. I'll try something like that in the next one, see how it turns out. that though that'd be all right in the background on a page or on a mixed media project so let's get this one and do some um leave no i've only got one this size what are we doing in the background text i did grab a text stamp here somewhere did i not oh yeah got this i haven't even cracked it open yet Blasphemous, aren't I? Tim Holtz, and I haven't even used them. And they're bugs and stuff. One of my favourite sets, and it hasn't even been touched. I wonder if you guys do that. The really good stuff that you really love, you tend not to use. <laughs> Don't know if I'm scared I'm going to stuff it up or what. <laughs> no, I haven't had a project that's required bugs yet, so... Now I'm going to have to partial stamp because I haven't got a more idea of a bigger block, but just thinking where it is. Can't be bothered using my platform for this, so I've got these ones. I don't think they work very well, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, because that's a good size. Might as well use it since I've got it. Now let's give this a, an inking up. It's looking good. Too bad. Usually I edit that out to me cleaning stuff because <laughs> that's another thing you don't want to have to watch. Me wiping down stamps for 10 hours. Um, all right, let's do our keys over the top and see what we think. Not too bad. Right, pop that one to the side. And now, should we do some bugs? Might do one square of bugs, um, just singular bugs that we can. Um, or maybe we'll do like, we might end up doing the whole four squares, but then something stuck to it. But I will cut it into littler squares. That 
Let's see, maybe I'll just do one. <laughs> or else you'll be here forever watching me do bugs. Because I want to do feathers as well. So, but I'll do bugs with the black, I reckon. And then I might use my stays on and do some feathers. So, oh, ants. An ant border would be cool, wouldn't it? Let's try that. on my fingers than I am this now. Oh, isn't that cool? That'd be so cool in an insect journal. I might just do this whole thing with ants. And I have lots of ant borders. I love that. Oh, I can hear you all saying enough ants in it. So I'll sit down off camera one day and just do a whole a whole bag full of napkins, full of ants. Now, bees is a popular one, isn't it? I think that's a bee. Let's do some bees. That'd look good in brown. Let's do some brown bees. Like I said, these can be cut out individually or used as a border. I'll say these stamps are good now. I know why everyone rambles on about Tim Holtz stuff. Cool. So yes, I think one day I will sit down and do another scrap buster and I'll go through every single one of my insects <laughs> and do a thousand napkins. They are good fun. All right, now the last one we'll do is I like this feather. So I think I'll do a feather one. Now I'm not sure how the stays on is gonna go. I don't think you get as, um, neater print as you do with your archival um but i've got the gothic purple the clara and the cloudy sky i don't know if they'll go together too well but you need some color for a feather like that i reckon an expensive craft isn't it when you you know you want all your distress inks and then you realize that they're not waterproof so for some things you want all your permanent inks and then you want a, a, you know all the different colors of every ink never thought I'd be spending as much money on inks but you know what I don't care because I'm having fun and I've never had this much fun in my whole life, so it's worth it. Oh, yes. I love it. I have to 
make some like this. I'll have to get a green, won't I? And then I can make some of these from my purple and green journal, which I'm sure you are so sick of hearing about. <laughs> I'll make it sometime next year and you'll just have to suffer in between. <laughs> no, hoping to get on with it in about two months if all goes well. I've got to do my son's um, wolf journal too. Stamp it off, don't wipe it down. Let's see what this colour's like. Try the claret just because I never, haven't used these. I've got them all um, in a uh, Facebook marketplace haul um, where this lady wanted to sell a big tub of stamps. And then when I went to pick them up, she said, oh, I've got some inks too, if you're interested. And I said, yeah, I'll have a look at them. And she didn't know how much they were worth. So she sold them to me for some ridiculous price. I've got heaps of them <laughs> and they were so cheap. It was the best. So... It's good to be using them all. I love this one too. These are beautiful inks. All right, I think that'll do there. All right, so I think that's enough. I've got a lot to get on with, so I'll finish it off there. I think you get the gist, but Thank you for coming along with me while I experimented with that. So let's bring them all back and see what I've done tonight. But yeah, you can definitely spend a lot of time sitting here making a whole heap of this. I love that. I'll be doing a whole heap more of those for sure. That was a great idea with the feathers. I love the leaves too and the brown. be good for the autumn journals got this lot of borders I left them together so that if I want to do them up the side of a journal page and it's a bit longer than this then I'm well I can't really do them because they're sort of different they're not as dark but I can with that one <laughs> these can go on the bottom of the page or something or as I said I can cut them out individually anyway then we've got our brown keys uh, trees, which I'm not too keen of, but they'll still get used. And then I know I'm missing one. Don't ask me where it went. Oh, hang on, here it is. On me bugs. Love, love them too. So I'm gonna have to go through and do, maybe I'll do a square in the same bug and um, change the bugs around. So it'll give me heaps of each bug to use. And then the last one was this one with the script and the keys. So considering I've got uh, hundreds of more stamps than what I've used here, um, you know, it's um, limitless, uh, the combinations and creations you could make and they're all ready to go when you want to use them and a great way to use up those scrappy bits off of the back of your napkins. So take care, everyone. Have some fun. Um, if you haven't done this before, it is great fun. So give it a go and I will see you soon. Bye.